Hi everybody, it's Brother Mike from here, the Watchman here today. Excited, I've got, you know, my friend uh, John Robertson. He was a speaker at Hear the Watchman. He's a frequent guest on the Hagman Show at Hear the Watchman. He did a wonderful presentation, sort of about the uh, how Satan affects us through Hollywood. It was called All Roads Lead to Babylon. But today, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about why it's so important for all of you to get on board with the communitywatchman.org. This is a program that, that is, is available to all of you. It's a fellowship program. It's a program of action. It's something that we firmly believe could absolutely change the face of the way Christians connect today from our little town. So I want to take a moment. John, welcome today. And uh, tell the people a little bit about why you're involved with the Community Watch. Absolutely. Uh, thank you, Brother Mike. It's a gorgeous day here in Southern California. We just wanted to take a few minutes to check in with you folks. Uh, many of you may know that about a year and a half ago, uh, Doug uh, and Joe Hagman and myself, uh, Mike and Jeannie, and also our friends at American Survival Wholesale kind of came together and we did just a real grassroots uh, effort to reach out. I liked the way Doug phrased it on air when we first uh, introduced the project, uh, the project being HH Connections. He said, you know, it's just like, like shaking hands with someone in the foyer at church or or reaching over your backyard fence to greet your neighbor. And so uh, in January of 2015, we launched HH Connections, and it was, uh, it was a lot of work, but it blessed thousands of Hagman listeners uh, with not only fellowship, but the planting of some home churches. And, and we learned a lot from HH Connections. And what we've done essentially is we've brought in some, some real professionals, uh, some military uh, uh, men and women, to help us head this thing up. And we're really kind of taking the spirit of HH Connections, but bringing it into the 21st century uh, technologically. Well, John, let me ask you this. Where do you see uh, this effort, the Community Watchman, differing from HH Connections? Because as I remember yeah. Yeah. HH Connections, it was kind of a, let's just connect and socialize with each mm -hmm. other in different parts of the country. How does, how does the Community Watchman differ from that? Well, thank you for asking that question. It's a great question, and uh, it's a multi-answer question. First of all, uh, there will be uh, a there will be a, an infrastructure to community watchmen that HH Connections lacked, uh, starting with uh, our brother, uh, Pastor Flip Benham, who's agreed to serve as the spiritual advisor to the project, meaning that with all questions of doctrine, including our uh, faith statement, uh, that, uh, that Pastor Flip has offered his services to uh, just help us keep a, a tight doctrinal um, approach so that everybody is, is coming together you know, with, with similar beliefs that we would consider the, the salvation beliefs. Uh, also, we've got retired Lieutenant Colonel Kevin Bushy uh, from the United States Air Force who has agreed to be the director of Community Watchmen. And uh, Lieutenant Colonel Bushy has... has uh, been in command of large units in the uh, in the Air Force in the U.S. Armed Forces, and he's really the right person for the job. Additionally, we we now have software that enables us to do all kinds of stuff that HH Connections never dreamed of. Uh, first of all, it will make the connection uh, process flow so much more smoothly. There will also be a vetting process so that we are certain that we are offering a fellowship platform to like-minded people, to Hagman listeners, to Caravan to Midnight listeners, etc. And then one of the things I'm most excited about is, you know, over the last year, we've been blessed to become acquainted with a number of Oath Keepers in many different states, and we're going to borrow some of their infrastructure from them. Uh, as I mentioned a moment ago, there will be a statement of faith that will serve in a similar manner to their, uh, to the oath that they have, the 10-point oath on the back of their business cards. And we will also eventually be rolling out a curriculum and offer some training programs that will cover all manner of both spiritual and preparedness topics. That's good. So we're actually going to, the, the Community Watchman is, is really going to be kind of a boots on the ground Definitely. Uh, kind of thing. And we've, we've talked about that. You know, we're also, folks, really excited about the fact that we're working with Coach Dave Dobbenmeyer mm -hmm. and the Salt and Light Brigade. And we're... We're working with each other right now to try and make a cohesive bond there. Because you know what? It's come time for us as Christians, and I'm sure John will agree here, to stand up. Let's get up off the couch absolutely. And, and absolutely do something, you know, uh, for Jesus and to, to make a difference. Um, so we want to we encourage you to 
jump on board. All it takes at this point of the game is get in the game. Get on our website. That's right. It's the communitywatchman.org. You can also go to hearthewatchmen.com, and there's a link there that will take you right over, a button at the top. Uh, and we want you to go there, and we want you to get signed up so that you can begin to get your newsletters. And as John said, there's going to be training classes, real boots-on-the-ground kind of stuff. We're talking about a whole camp uh, to put together for people to go to using the Seed Lady out of Texas. Wonderful, wonderful person, uh, Lucinda, who, who uh, just does a great job of teaching people how to prepare. And uh, that's kind of what the Community Watchman is all about. But, John, I think one of the other things you and I talked about we're going to be asking people like you to send us information in because we want to Absolutely. know what's going on in your communities uh, so that we can report back to Doug and Joe Hagman uh, and some of the others who are taking the word out to the public. You know, this whole effort, the Community Watchman, was a collabor collaboration between uh, Doug Hagman and myself uh, that was spawned out of a conversation we were having regarding here the Watchman in Dallas. So. Uh, you know, we're just really excited to all be working together, but we can't make it happen without you. Now, I know we kind of look like the men in black today. I mean, we really <laughs> didn't do this. You know, he came down to the house, and we both happened to have black T-shirts on. But I want you guys to know something. Be prepared. John and I are going to be opening up a radio show here very shortly. We're in the process. Excited of about that. In. Yeah, it's going to be great. Uh, it's going to be the two of us bannering back and forth, you know. God uh, help us all. He's the good-looking one. I'm the old one. Uh, you know, and we're going to be on there, and we're going to be talking about topics that are interesting to you. We're going to give you updates about what the Watchmen are doing, uh, and we'll be talking about, you know, what's what's upcoming, and it's going to be a little different twist uh, than some of the other shows out there. So we're looking forward to that. John, thanks for coming down today and doing this. Uh, Absolutely. Folks, go on now, get busy, and get prepared. God bless.